from my Galmon S620 tablet review. During the next four weeks, I will be posting a new speed paint every Friday at the time when I usually would post a new page of my comic, Yellow, to my DeviantArt. Chapter 2 is now fully posted, and while I'm having a break to work on the third chapter, I didn't want to leave people reading and enjoying Yellow to hang for too long. I can't estimate when chapter 3 will start posting again, but I hope these speed paints will offer some depth and content for the comic while I work on chapter 3. If you watched my Gaumon S620 tablet review, these four drawings have been drawn with the said tablet. Because the review became over 20 minutes long, that is why I decided to make these drawings as four separate speed paints. Then again, I have been meaning to do more yellow content on my channel, so this is good timing in that regard as well. These speed paints will be about the four characters that appear in yellow and will be posted in the order of the character appearance. I did these sketches at the start of this year. I was thrilled to finish them, as these four sketches are one of the few I love that I have drawn out of yellow. The first character we have in the spotlight is Tulip, the female protagonist may I say. While yellow has only four characters featured in it, Tulip is arguably the most centric one along with Jake. She is the first character we get introduced to and she has appeared in every single chapter thus far. Tulip is your everyday student, with a kind attitude, yet she doesn't shy away from an adventure if she's offered such an opportunity. She does her schoolwork, cares enough about the education to try her best, but that doesn't take away the potential time she could spend hanging out with her best friends, Sabrina and Michael. She is in the fashion and popular series that she loves to gossip about with Sabrina. She loves to throw jokes, yet she will treat certain situations with the seriousness it needs. She tries her best not to be insensitive, but sometimes her emotions may take the best of her. The center of yellow is her and Jake's breakup, and how Jake doesn't seem to be able to let go of her. It has become apparent through yellow thus far, that Tulip would prefer to live her life without Jake's influence. Unfortunately, going to the same school doesn't help the situation, but at least Jake is at the higher grade than she is, so at least she doesn't have to sit in the same space with him. Out of the punch, I have to say Tulip's character reflects the most how I would react to situations or how I would at least imagine reacting to them. Tulip isn't in any way an extension of myself, but I can see a lot of me in her. Writing her feels very natural to me, and I enjoy playing around with her character. Before I get too much into the writing, a user on DeviantArt called Warrior Eyes asked a few questions which one I want to answer during the speed paint. I will save the second question for later. The question is, how did you come up with the story and characters for Yellow? Yellow is a comic that I began to storyboard in 2015, when I had just entered university. I wanted to challenge myself and create a comic that I would finish while I was still in uni, Yet, that didn't go exactly the way that I planned. The comics and stories that I usually do are long-term ones. I struggle to write shorter stories, and thus I decided to use Yellow as an experiment. Yellow is planned to be a prologue, five chapters, and an epilogue long. While that may sound long to some, for me, it's significantly shorter than what I usually do. Another thing that's very unusual for me is that yellow is something I would classify as drama. The genres I love to write about are adventure and fantasy, 
So, suddenly having the entire story to be centered around the relationship drama was quite a new pinpoint. I love to play around with relationships, but basing the story out of a single relationship isn't exactly what I usually do. The idea of Yellow came to me through a scene that will be coming up in Chapter 4. So, no spoilers for now. At the time, I had recently broken up with a guy that I had been dating for nearly two years. While that didn't exactly inspire the story itself or its characters, in hindsight, I dare to argue it had some influence with some minor decisions that I ran with. None of the characters are based on real people that I know of. They live in their own universe and exist in their own little bubble. The name of Yellow may appear random, but I went through some color theory before settling down onto the name. Yellow is often the color we associate with positive things, such as happiness, joy, and sunshine. We don't often hear the negatives of yellow, which is why I did some digging and decided that the way yellow is described in negative terms summed up pretty well Jake's characteristics and the way he behaves regarding the breakup. Yellow is connected with coward behavior, jealousy, and egoism to name a few. Those are the keywords as of why I named this comic yellow since I felt it was unique in its own right. Just like I wanted to limit the length of the story, I also wanted to limit the characters that I would use in it. At the end of 2015, I was about to get into modifying my style to supporting different looking characters. Yellow was the very first story where I put a lot of focus into the characteristics of each individual character. I will talk about each of the characters' design processes separately in their own respective speed paints. Tulip is the closest to my original style, with the signature cheek fluff that I tend to give to characters that I like or draw a lot. Tulip is the shortest out of the yellow characters. While Tulip is pale yellow or pale yellowish ginger, Yellow's name is not inspired by her looks. Tulip, on the other hand, has her colors inspired by the comic's name. The flower she has on her ear is a gift she got from Jake when they started their relationship, and she still is holding on to it as it became quite a recognizable part of her. While Tulip's fur is mainly straight and tame, she has a single curl on top of her head to give her some flavor. When I designed Tulip, she was the definition of a simple character design by me at the time. My friends dared argue she's not simple, but, in my humble opinion, Tulip's design is much easier than other characters I happen to own. Before I wrap this speed paint up, let's talk about the drawing process. This drawing was the very first drawing I did on the Galmon S620 tablet, and if you didn't notice at the start, I admittedly struggled a little bit with the line art. I eventually got the hang of it, but at the start, I spent quite some time getting fully adjusted to the tablet. The tablet draws flawlessly though. If you're interested to hear me talk about the usage of this tablet in more detail, I will place the review at the end card. I wanted these four drawings to be their own kind of set. I at first was attempting to go with a simple shading, similar to how I shade the characteristics in yellow, but decided against it when I got into it. In hindsight, I'm glad that I went all out with the shading since I'm loving the results of it. I wanted the background to be simple and reflect the color that reflects each of the character's personalities. For Tulip, I chose pink, since she is quite girly and proud of it. I would imagine pink being her favorite color. I feel like it reflects her personality as well. The pink isn't striking to the eye, 
but I really like how it complements her warm yellow and orange color palette. She's Tulip, the protagonist of Yellow and the character that introduces us to the story. Let me know if you have any questions regarding Yellow or its characters that I can answer in the future speed paints. I hope you enjoyed this speed paint filled with more depth regarding the subject matter of what I'm drawing. Also, I have been thinking about expanding the post yellow outside of my DeviantArt. While DeviantArt will remain the main place where I'm posting yellow for now, I wouldn't mind posting it elsewhere. I heard a lot of people use webtoons, but I'm open to all options. Let me know in the comments below where else you would recommend or would like to see yellow to be posted. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all next week. Stay safe, wash your hands and have a good day or night.